The cities and towns across Western Mass continue to honor our nation's heroes this Memorial Day weekend. Western Mass News reporter Caroline Powers was at a special ceremony this morning. With a 21-gun salute and plane of taps, dozens of people gathered at the Quabbin Park Cemetery to honor the men and women who died serving our country. It's great to see, to see him turning out here, the people. 94-year-old World War II veteran Raymond Cook tells Western Mass News Memorial Day always brings back a lot of memories and emotions. Cook is a two-time Purple Heart recipient. He has a bronze star, an infantry badge, and congressional gold medal. I, I went in the military when I was 18. Yeah, that was in 1940. 41. I was in the ranges at first, and we lost a lot of men at, at, at the Anzio beachhead. Three of them right from this town. I say, I think about them, but I don't want the ceremony at the Quabbin Park Cemetery holds a special meaning to many families as it honors individuals removed from their original resting places for the building of the Quabbin Reservoir. So without a doubt is, is that we need to make sure that we honor their service, their sacrifice, and particularly ensure that these hollow grounds are well maintained long into the future. As always, it's important as we observe Memorial Day to remember the ones we've lost and those who continue to serve our country. We have a lot of men and women that are overseas and other places in harm's way. Uh, remember those that we've lost and pray for those that are serving our country to make sure that they return home to their families safely. For Western Mass News, I'm Caroline Powers.